basically this is how you import a video in order to rotoscope it. There's a couple of things that are a little bit different than the normal import. So first of all you go to file, import obviously, and you are going to import video. Okay, the video that I have is on my computer, so I'm just going to find it. It's on the desktop. And it's got a nice meaningful file name there, movie 8. <laughs> I don't want it to be deployed to a web server at the moment, I just want it basically to be on my video because afterwards we're going to delete it. I'm going to go continue. And we are going to embed the video in the SWF and play the timeline. We're going to have it as an embedded video and by this time instead of having the audio track integrated we're going to have it separately because once you trace your video what you want to be able to do is delete the video but keep the audio there so that the audio runs along with the animation that you have. You're going to place an instance on the stage, expand in the timeline and you're going to embed the entire video generally. Sometimes if you want to only take a section of the video you can edit the video first. And hit continue. My, me, me and my little boy there. Okay, just double check with the audio that you've got it in an MPEG format. And hit continue, finish. May take a couple of minutes. Okay, so here's our uh, video in here. So if we play that now. We've got some great movement but no sound. So what we need to do is go to the library and you'll see here that the, the video is there and the audio is here. So what we're going to do is add another layer for the audio and just drag the audio across. So now you'll notice that the sound wave is up here and And that's it. Okay, so what you do now is then go through frame by frame and keyframe each one. So we'll check keyframe in here and you start drawing the object here. 